Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and I have my helper here, Maddie. And it's an exciting day here because we're going to be opening up the pool. I like to open the pool before the water temperature gets up to 60 degrees. And the reason I'm making this video is because I did something different this year. Really? Yep. Instead of using oh, yeah. my heavy, light proof, waterproof cover, I bought a cheaper mesh cover and I decided to put a floating black solar cover underneath it to block all the light. So uh, we're opening up and we're going to check out the water quality and I also want to mention that it was not recommended to do this but uh, I wanted to try it out and tell for myself and uh, we'll share it with you guys. And also that pool cover saved me. When we were closing it I fell in and That's it saved right. me. Yeah, it, did <laughs> say, it is a safety cover. Alright, you guys got to help. And we'll try and walk this down. No. The nice thing is no. this pool cover is really light. All right, hold on to that. Stand up. All right, walk it right down. Are they watching us? Yeah, no. All the way down. So here's a look at the solar cover I used. As you can tell, it's black. I figured that would let through the least amount of light. And I always put carpets here on these corners. So some old carpet there helps keep pressure from those corners uh, ripping the cover. So especially when there's a load of snow on it or ice. So right now there's a little bit of water up here. It doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of yellow, which looks like pollen. But other than that, um, this looks pretty good. The trick's going to be getting off this black cover without letting it leak down there. But overall, the water on this cover is at least clear. But there's a lot of sediment, so uh, we want to try and prevent that from hitting the bottom of the pool. Try and keep it low, okay, bud? And we're going to sort of, we're just going to try and slide the cover over this way. And we don't want all the water and debris to go off that side. All right. Okay, so you can grab the middle. Go down a little more so you're in the middle. All right, let's get the, hold on. Just put, put the edge up about a foot. Go ahead, Maddie. Get the, move down. Wait up. Wait. You got to pick up the edge there that's against the concrete. Keep it low. If you get up too high, you're going to put the water in the middle. All right, so you put this up a little bit. Now, when we go, we're going to go slow because we don't want it to drip off. And we want to keep it low. We're going to go about 12 feet. Okay. Are you, everyone ready? One, two, yeah. three. Nice and slow. Keep walking backwards. It's going to get a little heavy. Doing great. Let me help Maddie. Keep, hold that right there, bud. We're going to clean the leaves. Guys, come take a look. It's only leaves. It's yeah, the best. We do have some leaves. We'll get them out. But you can see the water's crystal clear. And we're at, I think I have about nine foot here. And there's the drain. So I'm, I'm real happy with this method. And we're going to do a little cleaning up and I'll be back. Can so, you see the leaves? What you, so see all the leaves down there, like all those see all leaves? leaves? We'll so walk. you get the net and then it's going to go and pick so them up. Heavy. Oh guys, look, it's all the way there. And we're opening our pool on April 7th, 2019. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at all those leaves guys. Can you zoom in? Look at all those leaves in that net guys. The water's broke. But a good leaf rake, 
You film. And a good pull will make this job easy. I'll have this sorry, guys. Cool it's hard for me to get it. So and sorry. I'll just throw in my Aquabot. That's the Aquabot, by the way. That thing. We have to name it. What should the name be? Moby? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay. Right. I got to use some silicone spray. Maybe you guys use this. I used it. I used it on these screws. And then my brother screwed them in with that screw thing. The drill. It's called the drill. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you something here. And if we look down here at the skimmer, you can see some algae starting. And it's uh, April 7th. And we're in Pennsylvania, Eastern PA. And uh, the pool water is not even 60 degrees. It's about 57. And I'm opening up now because the water's clear and looking good. And I know if I wait, eventually this whole pool will turn green. So it's probably better to open a little early. And uh, you know it's time to open when you start getting, you know, some 70 degree days. That'll bring the water up. And one other little tip, if you have day lilies, once they just start to sprout, then it's time to open up the pool. Hey Puff. Well, I got the pump all started up. The only issue I had, I had one of these handles broke, so I just put a new end on. And uh, I already have a video on how to do that if you're curious. The pump's vibrating a little bit. I gotta look at that. I'm not sure what that is. And uh, I put in a water cannon this year. So uh, I'm just gonna, I'll fire this thing up. Well, one other thing I wanted to show you guys, and that is the water cannon. I put this in last year. I built it myself out of PVC and a couple valves. And the kids love playing in that. They'll float around on the raft and uh, get soaking wet. And it's a pretty good thing to put there when, uh, you know, you got someone new here, you set their chair right there, and if the wind's blowing just right, they'll get soaked. <laughs> so. There you go, the water cannon made it through the winter and is looking good. And you can uh, adjust that valve there and that'll uh, decrease the pressure. So, we're looking good. All right guys, so the only thing I gotta do now is uh, add chemicals and stuff, test the water. Um, things are looking good, I got my robot going. I use uh, an Aquabot. I've been really happy with that, and I can also get parts from their website. So, uh, yeah, that's what I use. I actually have the uh, Fury, the Bravo Fury. And, um, yeah, this looks good. I'm really happy with that uh, solar cover that I use, that black cover. Uh, I think it really helped keep down the algae along with open up early. So guys, hopefully you have a good pool season. I'm looking forward to this one. And uh, we're going to end this one right here. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the pool video, let me know down in the comments. Because I could make a few more in the upcoming days. Take care.